president and co-founder of Golden Road Brewing. After college, I moved to Boulder, Colorado to pursue an athletic career. In 2009, I had a life-changing car accident and couldn't work out, so my career shifted from athletics into business. I was reading a lot during that time, helping to get my memory back, and was reading a ton about beer and about business, and that's when my path changed into beer. We started with the concept of bringing the freshest beer to the local market possible. The Hefeweizen style and the IPA style, you want super fresh. So we started with Point the Way IPA and Golden Road Hefeweizen. We decided to go with automated brewing to keep consistency in our flavor profiles of all of our beers. I would say on average there's about 15 styles of beers at any given time at Golden Road. Year to date we've produced 62 different styles. With the amount of control we have over our brews, there isn't a single recipe that we've scaled up that I don't like better now than I did three years ago. And that's, that's a lot great. of fun to say. Yeah. yeah. I think it's cleaner and better than ever. 16 tanks are full. Oh, all 16 are full all the time. Uh, every time one empties, we clean it up and get it ready for another batch. All right, here you go. Ah, great. Yeah. You can tell there's a nice lot of yeast still in there. Love it. Nothing better than fresh beer. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. We are very passionate about canning for several reasons, but number one is the quality of the beer. Cans are actually better for the beer, protecting the beer from light strike and oxidation. Some people might not get as excited um, about like a high speed rotary can filler, but for me that is my favorite part of the business right now, to see the rotary filler with low dissolved oxygen levels and feel the tightness of the can that this line produces is a monumental moment for us. Hey. How's it going, Meg? How are we running today? Running great. It's nice and smooth. So this is the first 12-ounce package of brown ever run. It is. It's what, about 1,000 cases they'll get this yep. week? Yep, getting about 1,000. How long will those 1,000 cases take? It should take us about four hours to run those. Versus our old line, how long would that 1,000 cases have thousand taken? 1,000 cases would have taken us 24 hours. It's crazy. The barrel aging program is a total art. It's not a science. There's no consistency behind it. And we look for just creative new flavors that we don't try to get or can't get on traditional brewing methods. Not as much uh, tequila because the last batch we, we just released. But I think a few more months in the barrel, it's going to flesh out that tequila flavor. Will it get any funkier? Definitely. Good. <laughs> Bring on the funk. <laughs> We've grown 100% each year we've been in business. Um, this year we are targeting 30,000 barrels of production. We're able to access and analyze data in a way that helps us grow. It's not putting the beer in every account, it's putting the right beer in the right account. Yeah, well, we, we do have a, a street sales team that Correct. oversees knowing um, what is Correct. selling and how to sell our beer in the market. What craft beers are in there, identify those, and then where you think our best placement within the store is. Cheers. 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 I think my age has helped me a bit. Being seen as more approachable, have been able to gain information without probably being seen as big of a threat. As far as it hurting me, um, there are times when I haven't been uh, taken seriously and probably should have been, and um, all that does is encourage me to go learn more and present facts and be more data-driven. What on your IPA list is selling best right now? We probably sell more Point The Way than we do The Wolf, but, yeah. but a lot of people come in wanting The Wolf. I think there's not many things in the world that are better than someone's first experience with a craft beer and discovering and falling in love with craft beer. Um, it's a conversation starter and people are just more open about sharing experiences and who they are over, you know, a pint of craft beer. The most rewarding part of seeing the work come to life is walking into a random bar restaurant and seeing a customer enjoying our beer. I could be doing a lot of things in business, right? Because I do love the business side of business. However, the creativity and the craft behind brewing is what uh, makes this job so fun and getting to share that. <laughs>